Hello everyone. While working on an example to, to post on the Asset Store forum thread, um, I decided, hey, maybe it's a good time to create a separate video to actually cover uh, kerning, and I'll explain why. So while I was working with this logo, which I was actually using the Technique uh, font, which is this one here, while working on the Red Zone example, uh, I was just going through the different fonts to uh, make sure everything was okay uh, before creating a new package and then I got kind of distracted playing with the snap it font you know as I got to this one um, and you know I kind of thought the look you know with snap it and the metal and the cool looking bevel as you can see here you know look pretty cool but having said that um, as I zoomed out and looked at the text it certainly looked like the kerning you know or at least we could use some kerning um, the space between the E and the D could be adjusted a little bit here. Uh, clearly, there's too much space between the Z and the O, between the O and the N. And then I think the N and the E is a little bit tight up there. So let's take a look at how we would actually adjust and, and add kerning for this font. So first of all, it's important to make sure that kerning is enabled. And if I enable disable, you can see nothing is moving because we don't have any kerning pairs set up. So we'll enable it. And then I'm going to navigate to this font, which is the Snap-It SDF, which is right here. The kerning table can be expanded or collapsed, so we'll expand it. And I'm going to add the first pair. So we'd like to tweak the E and the D, and I will actually zoom in so it's easier to see what we're doing. So I will add the capital E, and then I will add the capital D, and I'll add the kerning pair. Then it shows up with a zero offset and now visually I'm going to adjust it as you can see here so I want the gap to be roughly here which is eh, close to this one maybe a little bit tighter there we go now let's move over so we want to do the Z and the O so capital Z I'm using all uppercase letters in this example so Z and O so we're gonna adjust these two guys right here O and N, O and N. And what's nice about being able to add kerning pairs manually is depending on the font, it's not like some of these pairs might need normal uh, or need kerning uh, when they're not being stylized with bevel and glow and a bunch of stuff. So I think, you know, adding some of the styles may affect um, how the original font designer would have handled kerning so it's kind of nice for us to be able to go in and tweak it uh, based on you know our own taste and feeling so that looks a little bit better here and then like I said the N and the E are a little bit tight and we'll add this pair and give it a little bit more room so now if we look at it as we zoom out, it looks much better now. The letters are nicely evenly spread. So then let's uh, change this because it says red zone and our stuff is green. So we'll say green zone. And if we take a look at it, looks pretty good. But hey, look, E and N. That's a pretty big gap right there. So let's go back and do that one too. So capital E and N and tweak this one as well. Ta-da! So this, I guess, was a short video uh, just showing how you can easily add, you know, kerning pairs to a, a font asset that you've already created. So if you have any comments or suggestions, please uh, feel free to post. Thanks.